Hi everyone, this is going to be quite a long video today. Um, as you can probably tell by the title, um, I'm going to be showing you kind of what I have as my staples in a healthy diet or what I'm really really trying to be healthy diet. If you've been following my videos for a while you'll know that I'm on a FODMAP diet um, and more recently a really really low sugar, as low sugar as I possibly can get um, diet. Um, it's things that I've been advised by health professionals and things like that um, and I just thought it might be quite useful. It's taken me quite a while to build, I don't know, should we call it a kit? A kit or a baseline of foods and things like that. Um, but these things always, if I see a recipe that I really like, generally I've already got everything in um, and it's taken me a long time by reading different books, blog posts, um, you know, magazine articles, YouTube videos to figure out what's quite useful for me to have in my kit sort of thing and also um, a few bits of advice that might be quite useful um, for things to take out on a day out, you know, so you don't have to buy snacks and things like that. So without further ado... Um, the first things first we'll do, obviously um, fruit and vegetables, I'm not going to show them because fruit and veg is fruit and veg and eggs, I eat eggs like they're going out of fashion so I'm not going to show that, I'm going to show more like staple things for breakfasts, um, things to make recipes and things like that so first things first, um, the Alpro Soya uh, unsweetened milk, that's what I have, I really like it there's not much more to say on it and then for the yogurt i also have the alpro simply plain um the simply plain soya yogurt that is what i have and like so that's another thing um something super i have run out actually i've got i've got some in here but cinnamon ridiculously important it helps to stabilize your blood sugar um, I think <laughs> I need to check that's what I'm, my impression is of it anyway and I usually pour it in there so I've got it so ground cinnamon always always have that in um, along the same lines I've not got this label yet but ground ginger as well that's really good and goes in loads of recipes especially at Christmas sort of time as is nutmeg ground nutmeg um, that's got quite a stronger taste if you've not had that but that's another good one for sort of Christmassy times and periods um, if I go on, I don't know if I'm going to do it in some sort of order, I've got everything just shoved here so I'll just end up grabbing it probably. Um, but seeds, sesame seeds, if I can show you what they look like. Just really tiny little, little mini seeds, hang on, if I, how do I focus you? One sec. they tiny little sesame seeds. Um, I have them on pancakes, I put them in my granola, um, things like that. Uh, we have got uh, pumpkin seeds, which they are the good properties of it. I don't know why I quite like to write it on, but that's what I like to do. Um, and I'm sure you know what pumpkin seeds look like, but there we go. I have them again, cereals, yoghurt, granola, um, they can go in soups, things like that. Um, I just get, by the way, once a, a marmalade tin or a jam jar or whatever is finished, I wash it off peel the sticker off and then you've got a perfectly ready-made um, little jar for your stuff so I have a lot of that um, almonds, there are some of the properties of almonds um, I really like these, these are nice for a snack mid-afternoon um, I just really really like them so they're, and they fill your nuts are surprisingly filling I'm quite surprised at how much I can be full from nuts uh, Brazil nuts, these are another one of my favourites. Again, yoghurt, mostly granola. I put these in, I chop them up. But um, some recipes call for them and things like that. So um, this is one of the old kilners. So they what they look like. Um, really good for you as well, as you know. Um, rather than educating you what the goodness um, benefit things are of them, I'm just trying to show you like what. I have what I feel like is a good idea of things to have. Um, walnuts, again, another good thing. Very filling, nice for a snack and to take out in in the day. And quite often I would pair that with ooh, some raisins. This is a Poundland um, jar, so obviously it was a pound. Uh, raisins and sultanas in there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I love them. <laughs> I know it's quite controversial dried fruit and things like that but 
to me it's just dried fruit and the sugar in it is natural and it is what it is sort of thing um i haven't where's my jar oh here it is um i used to have brown linseeds all the time but now i've heard that golden linseed could be a bit better for you so um golden linseeds are the ones i have now but i don't eat them like that i put them in a blender and i ground them all up so they go from linseed to a flaxseed so it's like a golden flaxseed that i have but i sprinkle them on breakfast every single day um porridge alpen cereal whatever sort of thing that i have and another amazing thing i'm sure you've heard of these these don't really need to be spoken about but chia seeds blooming neck they're just going everything going you can't even taste them but if you want to taste them and you make like a chia pudding where you plump them up oh it's so nice i absolutely love them um these are horrendous if you spill them so they're just tiny tiny but there is and i'll tell you where you can get them really cheap home bargains i love that shop but home bargains do them for a really good price a really really good price actually uh classic coconut oil this is the bionic bionic organic one it's quite hard to say but baking lining your pans oh god just all sorts this is a key for baking if you want to do that sort of baking um really nice snack to have um popcorn popcorn kernels and i just have these totally plain i pop them myself um, and i don't put any oil or butter or anything when i'm making them i just have the pure popcorn and i think i read at some point um the more there's more antioxidants in some homemade popcorn than there is in your day's worth of fruit and vegetables or something which i find quite hard to believe but nevertheless that's pretty cool sainsbury's i usually just get my kernels from but i think it's quite a popular thing these days um and this um jar is from home bargains no it isn't it's from poundland and it's got a little love heart on it which i think is quite nice um next up something so many recipes especially livia's kitchen if you follow her um, she often uses oat flour quite a lot um, and oat flour is literally just oats put in a blender um, and like made to dust sort of flour so that's what it looks like I make pancakes with this they go for some cookie recipes and um, all sorts so oat flour just from normal oats is a really handy thing to have like ready made so you don't have to do it each time so with on, on that thread Obviously, I don't even need to say oats. I love oats. In particular, these are jumbo oats. Um, I really like these. They're from Holland and Barrett, these ones. Um, they're just really big and they really make a good flapjack because of the size of them. You can really taste the texture. And they make quite a nice porridge as well when they like that. So oats, they're an ace thing to have. And this jar is from uh, Home Bargains. Is that one? That's a really big one. So is this one. Um, this is puffed buckwheat. I have this for a cereal sometimes. Um, I just have cereal, sorry not cereal, the puffed buckwheat with some milk and banana and that is a really nice breakfast. Or sometimes I've actually taken these out dry um, in a little container and had them as a, a snack. They're kind of like, I don't know really, but they're just nice. They are very cereally. Um, they're just nice. I, I don't really know what to say about them, really. They're a strange thing to describe. Um, but I don't think you could really dislike them, to be fair. Um, right, I know loads of people going about the, the nut butters. I hate peanut butter. And, right, it's weird. I hate almond butter, but I absolutely love almonds. Flaked almonds, ground almonds, blanched almonds, whole almonds. I love almonds almonds and that sort of taste but i absolutely hate almond butter but i've got the meridian cashew butter which is the one that i use because that's the one that i like so i've always got um jars of this stocked up and a really good time a good tip of when to get this is when um holland and barrett do the penny sale so you buy one and get one for a penny because it is quite expensive um but holland and barrett do um the good deal at that point for that uh, what should we go for next things to help with a bit of baking so obviously um agave nectar i get the light amber and mild one 
Um, I don't I don't add this to anything like I don't add it to drinks or porridge or cereals like it suggests on the front I use this just if it calls for it in a baking recipe I don't use it for any other reason but it is nice actually and then um, again same thing applies with this date syrup the Biona Ag Organic why am I finding that hard to say I think it's too oey Biona Organic <laughs> um, I use this for recipes as well um, a natural sweetener rich and mellow for desserts or pancakes and I think that's pretty much just oh yeah look I don't know if you'll be able to see it there the ingredients is date syrup certified organic ingredients so that's just um dates mushed up I think um this bottle's so messy but a good quality maple syrup so this is the pure Canadian maple syrup um it's got them really messy but um for nearly all the recipes you need some sort of syrup um, sort of situation um, good thing for a tea time to have um, again I've got it in an old um, marble jar is quinoa this is just from Sainsbury's um, and I, I never know how to cook it or what the quantities are so I've got it written on there um, thing but I usually have um, I don't have it that frequently but when I do I usually have quinoa and just for me more than enough is a um, quarter of a cup of quinoa um, that really really suits me for the portion size so I have quinoa with chicken um, a hard boiled egg some spinach and some grated carrots and that's a really nice filling um, tea so quinoa is a really good staple um, I've got another um, another bag of them to top up here but sunflower seeds love them um, they're nice breakfast and all that sort of stuff that's what they look like Ooh, we're going in um, yeah I like them so quite a lot of recipes I'm finding these days that I'm enjoying um, are calling for them actually so that's a good thing um, some, a good top tip actually, like at Christmas or things like that, or especially when the weather's colder and you're wanting a hot um, dessert and you're missing your custard days, well if you have cashews, um, cashews make um, a really, really lovely custard. Um, there's quite a lot of recipes out online for it, but I use the Deliciously Ella one, and which calls for yeah, cashews to make custard and you soak them. And I made a cheesecake the other day actually using soaked cashews and that was really nice it goes to a really creamy base so although i personally think cashews are very very expensive um they do make a really nice um custard and um like a baking base sort of thing an amazing ingredient that you should not be without are pitted dates now i know a lot of people say buy my jeweled dates and all things like that and i do i do probably believe that they are better but um, they're so expensive. Um, these are pitted dates, ah, which I am knocking, bashing the camera with, which is not very good. Oh gosh, these are using so many recipes, and they just give it that really nice um, taste and a sweet taste. So I keep them all in there, and they they don't have any stones in. They're all mushy already. Perfect for. Um, sweet recipes basically where you don't have to use anything actually sweet and deliciously ella again has a really nice recipe um i think they're called date and oat bars i make them quite a lot on there they require about 10 um 10 dates so they're really nice right some snacky idea oh no i'll stick to the staples first um this is the dove's farm gluten-free plain flour just literally plain flour that's gluten-free in the same way that this is uh, gluten-free self-raising flour, this is the home bargains um, jar. Um, uh, these are some giant prunes. Which, there is the giant prune. It looks quite like a, just a giant raisin really. But these I use in quite a lot of recipes so I just buy a bag of them. Um, a re another recipe that I've had a similar to that are dried figs so get another bag of them um again these look gross but they've actually made a really nice like breakfast bar um cereal thing so dried figs i have in these are expensive but 
a seriously key ingredient if you ask me. Ground almonds, um, just almonds grounded, um, ground up to make a dusty sort of flour but blooming out so many recipes calls for ground almonds and this is one of my favourite ingredients because I absolutely love the taste of oh, ground almonds. I love, 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 love it. Um, something that's really good for a dinner obviously Heinz baked beans are not or any sort of baked beans like that anymore are not really good for me um they don't agree with me and they're packed with sugar but i've found this i've shown this before in a haul but this is the whole earth saucy organic baked beans um made with natural ingredients um and if you can see if you want to pause the video you can see the ingredients there but there's no sugar in them at all so just sort of, I guess, natural ones. And also, it says, because um, I, right, honestly, I am the plainest, blandest, boringest eater ever. Like, I don't even like garlic or, I just don't like anything, basically. I just like, seriously, plain, traditional foods. And this has got in it, like, organic garlic powder and soy sauce. I was like, oh, my God, I don't like them things at all. But I can't taste them at all. These taste pretty much identical to um, Heinz. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference, but what's interesting is if you have these going in the pan and say somebody else in your family's got um, the Heinz going in the pan, the Heinz just looks so fake and processed, like the colouring of them and things like that. So these are really, really nice. And I get these from Holland and Barrett as well. Thank God for Holland and Barrett, that's all I can say. Um, oh, another thing. Um, is a good thing to have especially around Christmas time when I tend to do quite a lot of baking um, brown rice flour just a good flour to have in an alternative flour some sort of powders then um, I have spirulina which I do put in smoothies sometimes but generally I put this um, when I make soup and when I make my granola so it's I'm not going to take the lid off because it's seriously green and it just goes everywhere um, but this is really good for you. But I don't know why, but it is really good for you. It's one of those things that you should try and have apparently if you can. Um, it's just organic spirulina. I wonder if it tells you here what it is. It says uh, spirulina. How do I get it focused there? Yeah, it's easily absorbed by the body and showing you get the benefits from all its nutrients. Rich in B12 for energy support. Immune support from the vitamin A. Um, so yeah that's good and then um, I've heard a lot about this lately so I thought I would try it so I've got some maca powder um, what does it say maca powder is considered a superfood and is, is reputed to have health benefits such as improving memory fatigue hormone balance and joint pains so I have got maca powder which is this sort of um, golden -y sand colour actually so I've been putting that in granola flapjacks things like that now more on to if you're going for a day out and you want some snack things. It's going to sound really funny but honestly if you go to the baby aisle of a supermarket pretty much everything is natural and sugar free and it's just really nice. So there's this um, like stewed apple and banana. So these come into a pack of four. So that's just 100% apple and 100% banana mushed up in a pot. So that's kind of like a, a yogurt equivalent to take out. Similarly, so is this. Now, I don't know if you'd feel embarrassed. I don't feel embarrassed. Nobody actually cares. I just whip it out and I know that it's something I can eat and it fills me up and it just does the job when I'm out. So this is um, Ella's Kitchen, bananas and apples. Um, and again, it, in it, it says there, um, ingredients, what's inside? Organic bananas, organic apples, organic lemon juice from concentrate and that is it. No added sugar at all. No added salt. No lumps or bits and you just kind of just suck it out the top. Mmm, how nice. <laughs> so that's good. Um, another one here, just another different variety. The strawberry raspberry banana puree from the Heinz range. Good for you as well. Fills you up on a day out. I'm sure everybody knows about the old naked um, bars these days. But again, just literally all that's in this one is cashews and dates and... Just the individual bars, they fill you up and it's a good thing. I have this little snack um, jar as well, like the others. And in this is some of my favourite, favourite things. I've got them in all the flavours. I'm sure if you've watched my Christmas hauls and stuff like that, you'll have seen them. But 
Oh, the yo-yo bears. I love yo-yo bears. Um, I have them in all the flavours. Um, I just couldn't survive without them. I love yo-yo bears. So they are handy for it. Um, day out and things like that i have got these plain sugar-free nairns oat cakes which i just empty off into the thing here and you get quite a lot these are quite nice if you make your own jam which i do sometimes um the nice vegetable jam or if you're starving when you're out i can just eat them and they're fine as well and the packaging for them um looks like this so it's just the nairns fine milled oat cakes and we get these from um sainsbury's but if you look at the ingredients it's oats sustainable palm fruit oil sea salts raisin agent and sodium bicarbonate so there's no um added sugar at all or anything that's kind of like sugar secret in there it's just fine oh look that's quite nice if you have a banana on it i've never thought of that so yep yeah, i'm sure you'll be able to think of an exciting um thing to put on there then we've got, um, these were a pound in Sainsbury, so I was like grabbing them because I know Rude Health is renowned as one of the really good brands, but it's also one of the expensive ones, which I don't know, I just don't do expensive if I can because all this stuff sometimes does mount up. Um, but brown rice crackers, um, organic, um, what is in these? Oh, it just says there the ingredients are organic rice and absolutely nothing else. So these are just kind of like um, giant snacker jacks look like that um, and they're nice with again your homemade jam or a bit of banana and things like that so they are a nice thing and last but not least it's again going back to the baby stuff baby aisle i absolutely love these so these are the biscuits the round i think you get about 12 in a packet and the the baby banana biscuits but don't be put off by the word baby because Babies are humans like we are as well. So the ingredients in these are wheat flour, banana juice concentrate, grape juice concentrate, palm oil, sunflower oil, lemon juice, raisin agent, which is sodium bicarbonate, and thiamine, which is a vitamin B1. So there's no um, nasties really in there, no added sugar um, or anything like that. So there we are, the no junk promise. Um, and they are so, so nice. Um, I thoroughly advise you to check the baby aisle out. Oh, and also, um, if you're like me and you like a lot of smoothies or making recipes and things in your breakfast, I thoroughly advise you to go to the fruit and veg shop or the green grocers if you can, shop local, all good, and buy a load of fruit that's maybe going off a bit or is a bit cheaper. Um, put it up and freeze so we've got frozen bananas there. So obviously I don't drink juice and stuff like that, but what I did was got a load of lemons, um, froze, cut them up, froze them, and then every time I have some water, I just pop a bit of lemon in, and it makes for a really nice drink. Um, we've got frozen blueberries, uh, frozen strawberries, which is really good when you come to make jam, frozen raspberries back there, uh, more frozen bananas, which makes your banana ice cream, obviously. Frozen kiwi, frozen pineapple, um, and yeah, freezing fruit. Um, be a really good idea and a really quick way um, when you want to make things basically so I would advise you um, to do that get it while you can and also if the strawberries are not the best get them frozen and then strawberries are not the best buy them get them frozen and you won't notice the difference then I have got so much stuff now to carry back upstairs because I keep it all in my room. But yeah, if you enjoyed that, please, please give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments below. Is, do you eat any of them things? Do you have them as your staples? If not, what are your staples? Is there anything that I'm missing that you think I should have in my sort of kit sort of thing? Um, let me know. And thank you for watching. I shall see you on the next one. Bye.